few moments later. <laughs> oh, you got the new Margiela? <laughs> that's what's up, that's what's up. What's up guys, Sal here. So the Galaxy S20 Ultra is gonna be a camera beast which packs insane hardware which will make sure the device stands out from every smartphone out there. But Samsung isn't just focusing on the hardware, they are working on the software side as well. One new camera software that we came across today is called Quick Take. It allows the phone to take photos from every camera lens at once and then the phone will allow the user to choose which of the photos they wanna keep. If you have a smartphone that has multiple cameras, which I'm sure almost all of you, then you know the hassle of constantly switching between the lenses when you're not sure which will make the best photo in a particular situation. Thankfully, with quick take, it's not going to be an issue anymore. The Galaxy S20 will take the photo from every lens and will present to you after it's been taken and then you can decide which one to keep, which is a pretty neat software feature that will come in handy in a lot of situations. Also, the pre-order deal that I've talked about a few days ago, where if you pre-order the S20 Plus or S20 Ultra, Ultra, you would get a free Galaxy Buds Plus. It's also available in Europe too. If you pre-order it before 8th of March, you'll get it for free which will otherwise retail for 170 euros. Also he says you'll be able to get the handset delivered to you from March 13th onwards. We also have the US pricing of the Galaxy S20 series. John Prosser, our good friend, has obtained the US pricing of the T-Mobile variants of the S20 series. He says the S20 will set you back $999, $1199 for the S20 Plus, and a massive $1399 for the S20 Ultra. Remember, these prices are for the 5G variant only. The S20 and S20 Plus have 4G variants too, and they will likely cost $100 or $150 less than that. But according to John, T-Mobile will only sell 5G variants. There won't be 4G S20s, at least in T-Mobile. I know these are insane prices. The S20 Ultra especially, $1400 is a lot of money. I knew the S20 Ultra will be an expensive handset, but I think $1400 is kinda pushing it. First of all, this would have been avoided if there was a 4G variant of this handset, but for some reason, Samsung decided not to. I don't know why, maybe to increase their profit margins, you never know, but a lot of us will have to pay additional money on this handset for nothing. 5G isn't widespread yet, heck a lot of countries don't even have 5G infrastructure and it will take at least a year or two for 5G to take over. So honestly I don't understand the business decision here and I don't know about you but I'm disappointed with the pricing of the Ultra. I mean if I'm spending that kind of money then I would rather spend some extra and get the Galaxy Fold 2 than the Ultra. Anyway I hope the phones cost less than this. For the people of the United States there probably won't be a 4G version so these could be the final prizes for you guys. Let me know what you think about this down in the comments and as always I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.